me think it up. Then write it down. Gotta, Gotta share it with a friend. Change it. Rearranging it. Fine tune it to the end. Great job. Now we can put that letter in the mail. It's post time. I'm itching to get back on the road. Ooh, let's go. Eureka! Look at that. All the steps and in the right order. I couldn't have done it better myself. Time's a wasting. Let's get back on the right road. It's a blockbuster. Nice piece of writing. You're a natural storyteller. Come on, let's get this show on the road. Nice writing, partner. You certainly have a way with words. <laughs> I can't wait to read your next paragraph. Come on, Chaucer. Time waits for no dog. This is quite a letter. Add an address, a stamp, and voila. It's ready to send. Start your engines. It's time to get back on the road. An outstanding job. Your instructions will help someone learn exactly how to do it. So, exactly how do we move on from here? How? Now, follow me! Wow, what a story! Author, author! All's well that ends well! Let's hit the road and right away! Excellent essay! It's a real gem! A gold mine of creativity! Let's put the pedal to the metal and write on! Hey, those characters are in some of my favorite stories! You know, when I was a wee mouse, my favorite story would start once upon a time, and they always lived happily ever after by the end. I love writing stories! But a story is like a cookie. It's what's in the middle that makes it really good. Yeah, absolutely. A good story needs a beginning, a middle, and an end. Uh, then let's begin. It's storytelling time. Characters, setting, plot, theme, dialogue, description, a million things to imagine. Your head's gonna get real crowded. And it's gonna take some time to get it all down the way you want. Let your creativity be your guide. Let's get going. You see, Ralph, a paragraph is kind of like a family. All the sentences are related to each other. The first sentence introduces the topic, and the middle sentences explain or describe the main idea. Oh, I got ya. Then, all that's left is the last sentence, which sums it all up. <laughs> Let's write on! Don't panic, it's essay time. Do it step by step. First, decide on the main idea. Next, jot down an outline of the key points that support the main idea. Right, Gwen. To sum it up, every essay needs an introduction to the main idea, two or three paragraphs that support the main idea, and a conclusion. So let's get rolling! Just imagine, Chaucer, thousands of letters go through here every day! Oh, I just love getting letters. And I guess the way to get them is to write them. <laughs> I gotcha! Letters describe what you're doing, you're thinking, and what you're feeling. And be polite. Ask about the other person, too. Come on, we got a lot more writing to do. Let's go! Letters. There's so many types. Letters to persuade, to ask for, and to give information, to entertain, to complain, to thank. You're right, Miguel. The secret is to know what you want to say and to keep in mind... The reader. A letter is a two-way conversation in writing. Let's write on. Okay, we have to describe how to do something. Yeah, like how to get these tents set up. Here, use these step-by-step -step instructions. I uh, wrote them myself. Eureka! Easy boy, you'll wake the neighbors. But your instructions make everything so clear. They describe all the steps and in what order they need to be done. Come on, we've got a lot more writing to do. 
A how-to describes the steps in a process in the correct order. Brainstorm before you start so you don't skip any steps or do them in the wrong order. Right, Gwen. Like you should always roll the windows up before you wash the car. Okay, let's hustle! <laughs> Gotta write a story, got something to say. We're on the right road, gotta say it our way. The story. <laughs> 